what's going on guys welcome back to another video and this video is going to be a little different we're going to talk about a secret weapon when placing machines i know my prior videos have all been collection videos but i want to post a few educational videos i think i have a pretty good um wealth of knowledge when it comes to the claw machines and i think i can help some people out with these videos so Today we're going to get into the secret weapon I have when placing machines and really with the 10 locations I've had I've only gone into about 20 businesses to place that those 10 machines so about a 50% success rate which is really high for placing claw machines but anyway let's go ahead and get into the video. This secret weapon is a honor box. If you don't know what an honor box is, I'll throw a picture up on the screen right now. It's a cardboard box that you put lollipops in for donation. So it has about 70 lollipops in it and a little donation slot in the front. And it's just a great way to get integrated into the vending space. It lets you get to know business owners and uh, just create a relationship with the owners. You can purchase these honor boxes at vendingbusinesssolutions.com or Sheridan Systems. I do use the Vending Business Solutions Honor Boxes. I just think they give you more freedom and you can donate on your own. Personally, I donate 20% to Feeding America each month out of those. And the Sheridan System boxes work with cancer prevention. So they actually take a dollar per month per box. So if you don't wanna deal with the hassle of donating the money yourself, I think Sheridan Systems is a great option for you, but if you want a little more freedom with your honor boxes, I think the Vending Business Solution honor boxes are for you. But anyway, I first got into honor boxes when I started vending. I started with bulk. I have about 40 locations for bulk vending machine. You can get into honor boxes for as low as $106. Vending Business Solutions offers six honor boxes. For that price, it's a great way to get into the business without much of an investment. I personally use lollipops. Other people use candy. I found that lollipops work best for me and I get those at Sam's Club. Either Tootsie Pops or Blow Pops, they vary in price. Now, you're probably wondering where the transition comes in from placing the honor box to placing the claw machines. And it's as simple really as building a relationship with the owner of that business. Placing an honor box allows him to see you're reliable. You come once every three weeks. It's always clean. You always have it stocked and you really take care of it. Getting to know the owner is one of the keys to success in the claw machine business. And as for my pitch, I placed honor boxes for about six months. I built up a route of about 200 honor boxes all across my area and basically as I'm switching the honor boxes I just go hey along with the honor boxes I also have claw machines and I pull up a picture on my phone and show him or her and basically go from there and it's a pretty high success rate if you do have a good relationship with that owner with the price of a mini claw machine ranging from a thousand dollars to fifteen hundred dollars you're looking at a relatively low commitment cost when placing honor boxes. And you can see if you like the idea of vending. If you like running the business, it gives you a inside look into what it's like running a vending business. You can test it out, see if you like it for the low price of $100. And also in that time, you can build revenue for claw machines to buy claw machines. If you don't have the profits right away, to get into the claw machines. I know $1,500 can be a lot of money to start a new business. So maybe honor boxes are a good way to build that revenue to first get into claw machines. By placing honor boxes, you also see what businesses would be interested in vending and want your business. If a business owner says no to letting you place an honor box, you most likely know that they won't let you place a claw machine because they're not open to the smallest form of vending. They will not be willing to give you that spot. So it's just another way to 
sort of narrow down the best businesses to put these in. I would recommend putting them in mechanic shops, car dealerships, restaurants, anywhere that has high foot traffic. Honor boxes will also let you see how busy a restaurant is. If the honor box doesn't do well on sales, you know it probably won't be a good place for a claw machine and won't make that much money. But if it does great, you know that will be a great place for a claw machine. You wanna put your claw machines mostly in restaurants, those places where people are sitting and looking at the machines for a long period of time. And you want those places with high foot traffic. Honor boxes will allow you to get an inside look before placing a claw machine. If you're watching this and have any questions about honor boxes or starting a claw machine business, just reach out in the comments below. I'll be there answering your questions. Anything you have your mind on, just let me know. Hopefully I can help you out and point you in the right direction. Hopefully this was a good educational video. I know it's typically not what I post. Another collection video will be posted next Thursday, but thank you guys so much for watching and have a good one.